Here's our rust spot. Alright, let's take a look at what's behind here.
here's a look at the Dynalite body filler that I'm using for this project. This goes for about $18 um, for this quart. It's actually a little bit less than a quart. And you can also use the common off-the-shelf Bondo. Um, there's another one that starts with an E that I forget. This is a bit more professional. Um, but whatever is available to you in your area, uh, feel free to use that. So what we'll do here is take some cardboard as our little mixing tray, put out a small amount of filler, and then we'll add a small amount of hardener. And if you add too much hardener, this will harden within a minute or two. So definitely do not put too much of the hardener in with the compound. We'll let this dry, we'll sand it down again, and apply another light coat if necessary. Okay, that should be the final skim coat before we sand it for the last time and hit it with some primer. And for the Oxford 2 Green Metallic, we're going to be using a black primer.
I'll wipe down the repair area with some isopropyl alcohol to clean it. Then we're going to tape everything off and we're ready for a base coat.
Here are yesterday's results. The paint came out amazing in my opinion. And you can see here some of the scuffing and a little bit of overspray. Uh, this is the section that we repaired. And what we're going to do next is wet sand this entire panel with 1500, then 2000, then 3000 grit. And then we will buff this whole panel with compound and that will help us blend the new clear coat here with the existing uh, factory clear coat. Now that our repair is evenly wet sanded, we're going to hit it with our polisher. This is a dual action and a microfiber pad. And we're also going to use Meguiar's M105 Ultra Cut Compound. <laughs> 